What's good, everyone? Welcome back to Nut Me Out. <laughs> Man, sorry it took a couple of days for me to come out. You feel me? But um, the most recent video that um I uploaded before this one was uh Mike Swagger with Kid Millie. You know what I mean? That shit went in, and man. Like, Newell, you know what I mean? Like, the dude, I, I think I reacted to one of his songs with Huckleberry P and a guy called King Kong in it before. And I think he now hosts, or like, he hosts the Mike Swagger now, apparently. And the man came through, you know what I mean, to your boy's channel and he commented saying thanks for your reaction and stuff like that. Man, I was <laughs> I was not expecting that, you know what I mean? So I was blown away, so I'm gonna give a huge shout out to my man Newell, you know what I mean, for supporting your nun, you feel me? And again, thank you. Thank you to like all of you guys for supporting, recommending, commenting, like just all these things, you know what I mean? You guys have been fucking crazy, man. Family out here. But man, without any further ado, we're gonna be reacting to Take One. You know, I've never heard of this motherfucker before. I don't know him, you know what I mean? I don't know what he looks like. And the song is called Blackout. And man, I wanna give another huge shout out to the man who actually put English subtitles to this video so I could react and understand it, you know what I mean? So man, you guys are fucking amazing. But man, without any further ado, <laughs> let's go. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, let's go, let's go. I don't know what to expect from this. Hmm, okay. Hold on, I was not expecting it to be this deep. He said, ignorance, envy, and anachronism, you know what I mean? That something's not chronological, like it's not in order. And what did he say? What did he say? I resemble historical reactionaries, you feel me? That is crazy. Alright, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm. Mm. Talk that shit. <laughs> Are you a motherfucker? Oh. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Like the first three lines, he says, "In okay, just listen." In the eyes of someone, I might, I, I must be the hope in this culture at the moment. You feel me? That is just crazy. Oh, this guy is just like laying his thoughts down completely. Okay, let's go, let's go. Huh. Mm. Mm. Oh, that, that just, oh, oh, I know I get goosebumps a lot, but man, this shit is just crazy. Go back. This perhaps to the ideals of freedom fighters and the Japanese rule. I'm guessing this was like when Japan conquered Korea, whatever, back in history. And he's saying for the people who chose death over compromise, you feel me? Like, oh, this shit's gonna be, oh, this is gonna go in, this is gonna go in. <laughs> he's saying that shit is similar to his like in terms of his music he's saying his music is is a reaction from the historical reactionaries you feel me and he would choose death over compromise he's gonna keep his art pure and not you know given to this um current climate of this watered down shit you know what i mean he's saying he's gonna keep his art form pure and you know what i mean and alive like that shit's crazy <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
똑같이 비겁하고 타협을 일삼 또 나와 전혀 다를 게 없다고 무지와 질투 그리고 시... 오 마이 로드 오 Ooh, that made my fucking hair stand up even when I'm wearing this, you feel me? Like, I don't know if you guys realize this shit kind of lifted up even. <laughs> but wow, the stuff he is saying in this motherfucker, the way, like, you can actually feel the pain and the emotion in his, in his delivery, you know what I mean? Like, that's what's crazy, like, that's probably, like, one of the craziest and the most skillful asset a rapper can have when they can project and when they can convey their emotions through the delivery. Like, this guy was, like, almost, he wasn't, like, shouting or anything like that, but, like, just the way he was saying it, like, I could feel his, like, pain or his doubt or his uncertainties that he was feeling, you know what I mean? Like, that shit was crazy. Go back a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> 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 So this is okay. So, so okay. Sorry for pausing so much, but this is crazy in a sense that he lays down his thoughts. You know what I mean? And he talks about the historical reactionaries, and he kind of like links it to the Japanese rule or whatever, and all that stuff. And then he says, "This is." true in terms of his music you know what i mean i love how he links what he was saying before to uh, to represent his music you know what i mean like that's just crazy to me like <laughs> He's saying his ideas bred many foes and those enemies like made him or something like that, you know what I mean? Like he was really affected by, like he was, he was keeping it a hundred, he was keeping it real and then the backlash came and then that affected who he was, you know what I mean? Like that shit, oh. Hmm. <laughs> Man, ah. Ah. that shit was crazy. That shit is crazy. Y'all are just recommending shit. That's just fucking one hundred. Like it, this is this is like so fucking real. You feel me? Like, oh my lord. Okay, I feel like something flew or some shit. Like I heard something break or some shit. <laughs> but hold, okay, we're gonna go straight back into this. He's talking about reality. He's talking about his income, his upbringing, you know what I mean? The women keeping, um, taking care of his family. And then he's saying when he was being real, you know what I mean? When, when, he, when he was being as real as he could, people label him a loser. He was saying his, they said his values were trivial, you know what I mean? The way he's just buried himself, you know what I mean, into a song, like that shit is the craziest to me, like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, one sec. I, I know, I, I, one sec, one sec. Okay, so this was in Palo Alto's verse of Cooler Than The Cool and he was mentioning this gate. And I, a lot of you guys explained to me in the comments and this is where y'all impeached the ex-president, you know what I mean? Because she was in some corrupted scandal and someone was controlling her or whatever it was and then you guys um protested you know what i mean 
in front of this gate and it's kind of like a resemblance of like you know democracy and all that stuff and he's saying this perhaps to those at this um guang something gate today you know what i mean like <sighs> that is crazy that is just crazy wow go back go back Reason Oh my Reason <laughs> I I actually don't have, I had nothing to say. That shit's crazy. Like, oh my lord. Raising voices that will never be heard is similar. And I love how he links all these things to his music and how he felt. He felt like his voice was not being heard, you know what I mean? <sighs> Hmm. <laughs> That shit's fucking real. Woo! Let the beat breathe. Woo! Woo! That is crazy. Like, crazy is an understatement. That shit was so fucking from the heart. You know what I mean? His heart. And at the end, how he kind of raised his tempo and that aggression and that and that conveying of emotions in that semi shouting, you know what I mean? Like that shit just got me like straight, like you know what I mean? In my soul, like that shit was crazy. I loved how he was linking all these historical events and all the things to his music and how he was feeling. And at the end, he says, "But still, your uh, music is ingrained in my heart or something like that." So I'm guessing he's talking about someone. I don't know if it's his mentor, his friend who died or he had a falling out with or something like that. So I didn't quite understand the context of the last line so please do let me know. But instead of that, I love how he's just trying to speak real shit and leave a legacy. He doesn't want to be washed up or a sellout or he doesn't want to give in to what's trendy or what's popular now. You know what I mean? To be popping or to sell albums, you know, or, or gain numbers, you know what I mean? He's just keeping true to himself and his legacy. Like this man... Recommend me more of his shit cuz cuz I want to check him out like I, I want to see like what he looks like or you know what I mean I want to check out more of his um discography and his music you know what I mean cuz this shit was fucking nuts